Yes. We will make sure that we respond to the Houthis as they continue this outrageous behavior, along with our allies. No. Iran does not want to war with us. I think they are. Yes. Very, I don't think there's any civilian casualties. That's another reason why it's a civilian. ...and the capacity to do what we need to do to execute the missions that we... How the U.S. and U.K.'s military intervention in Yemen escalated the Middle East tensions. Hello and welcome. This is NewsFest Addis, your daily source of news bites, locally, regionally, and internationally. The recent military strikes by the United States and Britain on Yemen have sparked a diplomatic crisis and raise the risk of a wider regional conflict. The strikes, which targeted the Houthi rebels who control most of Yemen and are backed by Iran, were a response to the Houthis attacks on commercial ships in the Red Sea, a vital waterway for global trade and energy. The U.S. and U.K. said they acted in self-defense and to protect international maritime security, but the strikes also came amid the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza, which has drawn in other regional actors and increased tensions with Iran. Russia, which has close ties with Iran and maintains relations with key Arab countries, condemned the U.S. and U.K. strikes as irresponsible and illegal and called for an urgent meeting of the United Nations Security Council on Friday to discuss the issue. Russia said the strikes violated the U.N. Charter and international law and escalated the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, which is already facing the world's worst famine in decades. Russia also accused the U.S. and U.K. of undermining the efforts of the U.N. Special Envoy for Yemen, Martin Griffiths, who has been trying to broker a ceasefire and a political solution to the conflict. The U.N. Security Council meeting, however, did not result in any concrete action or resolution, as the U.S. and U.K. defended their strikes as necessary and proportionate and blamed the Houthis for the escalation. The U.S. and U.K. also reiterated their support for Israel's right to self-defense against Hamas's rocket attacks from Gaza, which they said were also sponsored by Iran. The Security Council members expressed their concern over the situation in Yemen and the region and called for a cessation of hostilities and a resumption of dialogue, but they failed to agree on a unified stance or a way forward. The U.S. and U.K. strikes on Yemen have exposed the deep divisions and rivalries among the major powers and regional actors in the Middle East as well as the limitations and challenges of the UN and the international community in addressing the complex and intertwined crises. The strikes have also increased the pressure on the Biden administration, which has been trying to revive the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran and to recalibrate its policy towards Saudi Arabia, the main adversary of Iran and the leader of a coalition that has been fighting the Houthis in Yemen since 2015. The Biden administration has faced criticism from both sides of the aisle, for its handling of the Israel-Hamas war and its engagement with Iran, and the strikes on Yemen have added another layer of complexity and controversy to its foreign policy agenda. Additionally, the strikes have been criticized by human rights groups and some lawmakers as an escalation of the war in Yemen, which has killed more than 230,000 people and displaced millions since 2015. The strikes have also raised questions about the legality and morality of the U.S. and U.K.'s involvement in the Saudi-led coalition, which has been accused of committing war crimes and violating international humanitarian law in Yemen. The strikes have put more pressure on the U.N.-led peace process, which has been stalled for months due to the lack of trust and cooperation between the warring parties and the regional and international actors. The strikes have increased the risk of a direct confrontation with Iran, which has denied supplying weapons and support to the Houthis, but has condemned the U.S. and U.K.'s actions as a violation of Yemen's sovereignty and a threat to regional security. This was our news analysis for the day. Thank you for staying with us. Make sure to join us for another edition of NewsFest Addis.